Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Stockwatch. My name is Harley and in today's video, we're going to be talking about what is Dogecoin and will Dogecoin go to a dollar? Hashtag Dogecoin to a dollar as the Twitter trend is happening. So we're going to be talking about what Dogecoin is and whether it has the potential to reach one dollar. So stick around. So guys, welcome back to the channel. Now do me a favor, hit the big old thumbs up button. If you want to see Dogecoin go to a dollar, and if you are new around here and you like what you see and you vibe with me and you want to see more, consider subscribing because I'd love to have you. Now, let's talk about Dogecoin. Now, let's get back to what exactly Dogecoin is and then talk about whether it has the potential to reach a dollar. So as you can see here, Dogecoin, a digital coin originally founded as a joke, which is quite ironic, soared over 800% after a Reddit board talked about making it the cryptocurrency equivalent of GameStop. Now, if you haven't been paying attention or you've been, you know, not really looking at uh, YouTube or anything this weekend or the past week, you know that GameStop is going through one of the massivest short squeezes of all time. It's raised from like four bucks or three bucks last year all the way up to it topped over 500 in a pre market the other day before being restricted and uh, causing a lot of. Uh, angst between Wall Street investors and you know the retail investors like you and I. So we had Robinhood actually shut down trading of it, only allowing people to close their positions along with uh, other companies like AMC. And I think they restricted buying on CCIV to one share, which is an absolute uh, joke in my opinion. Um, but let's keep on going to Dogecoin and then why it sort of started to gain some attention. So it was originally created, as I said, as a joke in 2013 based on the popular Doge meme at the time, which involved a Shiba Unu dog. I have butchered that like crazy, but uh, let's keep going on. Let's try and get uh, no cuts in this. But Doge's resurgence in the last few days has been due to enthusiasm from a Reddit group called Satoshi Street Bets. All right. Elon also tw tweeted out a picture of the magazine cover of Doge. And let's jump across to this so I can show you if you haven't seen it yet. But uh, this is just a nice little tweet from our man Elon Musk. And he had Doge instead of Vogue. And then we also had, if you know who this is, if you're into the gaming scene, Laserbeam, who was a fellow Australian of mine. He wrote, uh, I, bought Do I, bo I bought Dogecoin and got a reply from our man Chamath saying, you gave in, which is, uh, it's pretty cool to see these huge named celebrities getting involved on what really represents, in my opinion, the crypto of retail investors. Now, I know it is still a joke, and I wouldn't be saying, you know, this is jumping to whatever, and I wouldn't be putting any price predictions on Dogecoin, because at the moment, I think it is a representation of the retail investor. And because cryptocurrency is not sort of regulated by any country in particular, I think uh, that's why we're seeing a lot more money go back into crypto over the past couple of days. I think we saw Bitcoin start to rise again. And of course, Dogecoin gained, uh, let's have a look here, it gained over like 800% or something on the one day. So it gained to about eight cents, just under eight cents per coin before dropping back to about two cents per coin and uh, peaking Thursday, as I said, yeah, just under eight, just under eight cents per coin. Uh, the trading volume also significantly dropped, according to Coin Market Cap, which reported Saturday afternoon a 24-hour volume dropped 71%. Now I don't know if that means that people are moving on from the meme, or if it's due to Robinhood uh, issuing a warning that buys might not be immediately completed, which is another sign that they are trying to manipulate the market as they have been doing the past few days. Reddit has regained the ability to buy GameStop and other meme stocks. Retail brokers have been short squeezing on Robinhood on Friday before the app significantly limited buying ability on 50 securities, including some blue chip stocks. So we don't know what uh, Robinhood's doing, but this video is about Dogecoin and is Dogecoin going to a dollar? So before we go any further, I do want to say this, of course, is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a dude on YouTube. Do not listen to me, except when I tell you to hit that big old thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. Had to get that one in there again, uh, but let's keep going. So hitting $1 might help Dogecoin drop the joke currency perception. So if you're not aware, this isn't the first time that uh, I suppose Dogecoin has been you know, trending on social media. And so it may not just be a given that it'll go to $1 because so many people are behind it. Now, this is a different circumstance, in my opinion, than what we have seen because this is gaining mainstream sort of attention, this whole Reddit versus Wall Street uh, sort of idea, which is I'm completely behind, by the way, I'm on the side of the retail investors. But this article is actually posted on the 8th of January and Elon Musk had already spoken about uh, Dogecoin with Elon said that Dogecoin is his favorite cryptocurrency, probably because of the meme sort of side to it. And 
Uh, he said he hasn't offered a Dogecoin price prediction, but he thinks that the alternative has great potential. I suggested that Dogecoin could become the global financials cryptocurrency standard. Now, in my opinion, I'm sure Elon is joking when he says this. However, there's going to be a lot of people out there who do believe him to be true. And actually knowing Elon, or not personally, but knowing what he's about, it wouldn't surprise me if he would like to see Dogecoin become the cryptocurrency standard because of the meme behind it. And I think he's all for the memes, the memes, the dreams, the A-teams. Um, and so, although he's probably joking, I think he would like to see it happen anyway. And as I did say, along with Elon's tweet, there was a TikTok campaign in 2020 that helped to boost Dogecoin's price. I think it was trading at like, oh, like a quarter of a penny or something like that last year. So it has gained a significant amount. And, uh, and it's crazy because a lot of merchants from snack vendors to ebook sellers and web hosting providers accept Dogecoin as a payment. Many looking to play with, pay with cryptocurrency wanted Dogecoin. And as of the last few days, I look, I need to check my facts on this one. I believe a, uh, a very popular adult site, adult movie site, is now accepting Dogecoin as a, uh, as a form of payment. So, hey, that could mean a whole lot of demographic, a whole new demographic is opening up to Dogecoin. So back to this TikTok campaign, they did say they wanted the price to be $1. And at the time, as I said, the currency was a quarter of a what a penny and the campaign managed to drive up dogecoin's price by 50 percent in 24 hours okay which is pretty crazy um and he said and keep in mind this is january 8th article so he said for now hitting one dollar is a dogecoin investor's dream so if you got a fair bit of dogecoin in at these levels you would of course love to see it hit a thousand now personally i put some money in dogecoin it was a very very minuscule amount like nothing that I, you know, something I'd make on YouTube a day. So it's nothing at all. But if it did hit $1, then it would be a nice, uh, nice sort of holiday. So, and I think this investor's dream may be a little bit closer depending on how long the meme sort of movement happens because I think Dogecoin would represent the pinnacle of memes. If you could drive Dogecoin to a dollar or higher, then uh, I think you're really sending a message to Wall Street. And especially as cryptocurrency starts to grow, I think Dogecoin might, might get some more sort of traction. But in the short term, it's very difficult to see where it would go because it could drop, you know, 50 to 80% of its value in a week because so many people have made profit. I know, as I said, it reached about eight cents, just under eight cents per share or per coin and has dropped back significantly as all cryptos tend to do. And if you are looking to buy some Dogecoin, I am, look, I'll be completely transparent. I'm not familiar with these sites. I just looked up where to buy Dogecoin just to sort of inform some people that may not have the ability to do it. Uh, there's a few sites here listed. I'm assuming this site put these down because they are affiliated with them. We've got Binance US, Huobi, Kraken, OKX, and I'm sure no one's going to be using that one down there after what they've done. Um, so there are a few options. I'm sure there's a ton of other places to get it, but there are a few places to uh, you know start you off. And of course, do your due diligence on these sites as well. As I said, I haven't looked into them too much. I just wanted to make sure I had some options to give you guys. And if you are in Australia like me and you are you know wanting to buy some Dogecoin like our man Laserbeam, then uh, CoinSpot is where I have bought my Dogecoin. And I will put a link, my referral link, in the description. First link. Uh, choose to use that if you want or not. If you you know if you want to support me, feel free to use that, and I'll get some uh, I'll get some benefits. I don't even know what it is because I've only just started with this. But uh, I was looking at some reviews for CoinSpot, and it looked all you know all legit and all good, and they have a good sort of safe process to sign up. So I'm sure there are other spots, but I just want to get in nice and quickly and uh, get my Doge on. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on Dogecoin. Will it hit a dollar? Very difficult to say. It's if you would ask me maybe a week or two ago, I probably would have said no way in the world. But I suppose this week we've seen the uh, the retail investors and what a group of people getting behind a cause can do for a stock or a coin or whatever. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you're new around here and you like what you see and you vibe with me and you want to see more, consider subscribing. Love to have you. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.